All right, lads. BSBR here. Big sip beer review. Um, just popped up my sister's because I had to apply for a cycle to work scheme. So I'm going to get a bike for my uh, her husband, my brother-in-law. And he says, I'm watching all your reviews and I'm waiting for you to review a Rev James. Oh, all right. So, uh, well, funny enough, my neighbour's two doors down. Another massive shout out to you, Ra Matt and Ruth Sutton. They did pop this up about a week ago. Maybe you touch in a week and a half ago. And it's been in the fridge, thinking, because I've got so many here, trying to get through them all. This is my second review of the day. Only normally do one. <laughs> so, yeah. Because he asked me, I thought, tell you what, I'll go home and I'll review it for you. So, Neil Phillips, hope you like this one. Um, and my ball was about to blow, if you can see that. <laughs> I still haven't changed it yet. Um, yeah, we're looking at a local, uh, a local ale, a local drink for me. Rev James is brewed from the Brains Brewery in Cardiff, my capital city. My team, we're playing tonight. Another about an hour. <laughs> um, yep. Um, it's named after the famous James Buckley. That's why it's called Rev James. Um, the bottle, we're coming in a 500ml bottle at 4.5%. And the bottle cap is Rev James. It doesn't say a lot on the bottle. The Rev James ales are named in honour of brewing legend, the Rev James Buckley. Savour of souls and satisfier of thirsts. Bre brewed with our exclusive Buckley's yeast, they each deliver a signature taste with a surprising finish. Chapter and verse. The Rev James original is rich, well-balanced, with a mellow malty flavour that unexpectedly gives away a calm, clean Refreshing finish. So anyway, let's review the Rev James. Oh. That is absolutely lively. Look at that. I feel like I go down a bit. Again. Oh my god. Just instantly smelling coffee. Yep. Just def definitely just picking up a load of coffee. That smells incredible. I do like a coffee. I, I, I'm a drinker of coffee. I drink about four or five cups a day. And if I'm working, I'll drink a few on my break as well. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of coffee. And if this tastes like coffee, I might have a new favourite drink. <laughs> Time will tell. Um, I've done a knobhead pour, as Bullman Beer Review would say. So, is it coming down a glass? It looks, no, it's not. Well, this is a bit boring, isn't it? Because i got to wait for my head to go down. Oh, another smell. See if I can pick anything else up whilst we're waiting. Yeah, definitely coffee with a slight, slight hint of... Chocolate. Wow, wow, wow. This smells incredible. This is probably the best smelling drink I've ever, ever smelled. That, if that tastes as good as it smells, like I said, I'm going to have a new favourite drinker. I'm going to have to dive in through a snobhead paw. Chin chin or buddy, let's have a go. Picking up, not picking a lot up. Maybe because of the pull. <sighs> P 
pick him some spice hot butter. No, I'm drinking it now. It's quite settling. It's quite a spicy, spicy feel to it. Um, a medium to thick mouth feel. And now that's settling, my palate, in my palate, or my taste buds are telling me, that's cold coffee. I like that. I do like that. Yeah, the Rev James, yeah, keep it in the camera. That's how it'll ever go. It smells beautiful. Absolutely. I, I gotta be honest. It smells much better than it tastes. So the smell, though the aroma is beautiful. The taste is not as good as the smell. It's not bad taste. It's not a bad taste. Yeah, coffee. Definitely coffee with a, a hint of spice. Um... It's brewed in Brains, the Brains Brewery in Cardiff. And I've recently drunk the Brains because I'm doing a world beer tour. And Wales, the beer on that poster was uh, Brains. And I weren't a fan of that. So I didn't, I didn't review it, but I just drunk it because it was on the poster. And that was unpleasant, as I should say politely. But this one, I was expecting it to taste the same. No, that is a very... Oh, pardon me. Different tasting um, ale or beer or drink. That, I can see why my brother-in-law made me drink this tonight. Because he is an ale drinker. He does like the craft ales. Um, he's a beer drinker and a bitter drinker. And he said, That's it, this is his favourite drop. So um, I said, go on it. I'll have a little go that when I get home now before the football. Um, yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a quite a fan of this. Anyway, let's have a little have a look at the big sip bolting ability. Big sip bolting ability on the Rev James. Oh. Look at the lacing on the glass that's left. Look at that. That's left a lovely, lovely lacing on the glass. Which shows there's a decent, decent quality and decent ingredients in this. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'm not an ale drinker, as um, a lot of you will probably know by watching the channel. I do mention that I'm, uh, I am a lager lout. I'm a lager guy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I will review anything uh, that requested to me or anything that's given to me. And like I said before at the start of the video, this was given to me by my neighbours, Ruth and Matt Sutton. They're a regular viewers of my channel and they said I'm doing brilliant things. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I, I try my best. Anyway, yeah, let's go back to this. Yeah, um, it's given, it's quite a, a coffee, coffee smelling coffee tasting, chocolatey on the back end with a hint of spice. And that ain't a bad drop. That, as far as ale goes, that's probably one of the best ales I've ever tasted. So I'm going to rate that a 7 out of 10. And I will, if I ever fancy an ale in a pub in Wales... I will have a little look, and if that's on tap or they got that bottles in the fridge, and I am fancy an ale on that certain day, I will probably go for the Rev James. Yeah, so I'm gonna rate that a seven out of ten. And yeah, I will, I would drink that again definitely. Um, so I'm glad that my brother-in-law loves this drink, um, and I can see why he does love it. But um, yeah, that ain't a bad ale. So. Keep tuned and keep subscribing or whatever you want to do to the videos. Um, more reviews to come on a future date. Thank you. Big sip.